Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of the Quail... Vlog. This is a vlog where I talk to you guys about things that we care about. If you come here for the video game talk, I promise you we'll get back to that. God, we just finished Life is Strange episode four. Oh my God! Despite the somewhat misleading title, we are not at all talking about arbitrary dietary guidelines. We are talking about balanced breakfast. What is balanced breakfast, you ask? I don't know why I looked that way, because I mean, technically I'm talking to you here, but... I look, I look all over the, there's a lot of pretty pictures on the wall, so I like to look at them. P.S. These are not Polaroids. These are Fuji Instax. Very similar, but just the whole Band-Aid Coke thing. I just want to make sure these, these are Instax. Balanced breakfast. Our buddy Stefan, who's a graphic designer, decided one day he was just going to sit down with this guy, Andy, an audio engineer, and they were going to have breakfast and talk about music. Then they invited some more friends and some bands, artists. I think there was like other graphic designers, photographers. How it works, at least for the San Francisco chapter, is that 8 a.m. Yeah, 8 a.m. Musicians are up late. We have odd jobs and not regular schedules. To quote Andy Freeman, one of the co-founders, 8 a.m. means that you're serious. It's about two hours, give or take. A bunch of musicians meeting up at ass o'clock in the morning to talk about how they can better promote shows without annoying people. They've had some really awesome guest speakers, people that, you know, run management firms. They've had music licensing people. It's all really beneficial for musicians, but you don't have to be a musician to be involved. But it's really cool because you start off with this icebreaker question where everyone kind of goes around and introduces themselves. Every week, it could be a different turnout. You say what band you're from or what you do and how you want to be involved in the music community. Everyone listens to music. Like, everyone. Why this is relevant to anyone who's outside of our little music community is that what started as just a weird little breakfast meeting in San Francisco has spanned across the continent. There's an East Bay meeting in Oakland, San Jose, which is where we're from. We got a meeting of our own. Then they expanded eastward. I'm not entirely sure how Stefan was able to organize a South by Southwest official showcase sponsored by Jameson Whiskey featuring balanced breakfast Bay Area bands. That's just awesome. I know recently a Toronto chapter opened up. International. And I think Nashville started within the last couple of weeks. But the rad thing about Balanced Breakfast is that it just feels like family now. And I'm not saying that any of this couldn't exist without the Balanced Breakfast, but being from San Jose where I've seen about six different musician meetup type groups start and fail over the course of my musical career, Balanced Breakfast is the only one that seems to be working at all. The fact that it was founded by a man by his own definition has no musical talent or skill at all. And I think what he's done with the entire operation is just amazing. As a band, a lot of opportunities have opened to us since we got involved with Balanced Breakfast. It's a musician community. Which brings us to the song of the vlog. First and foremost, I want to give a massive shout out to this band. Not only are they amazing people who have been coincidentally tied up in all of our business for the last couple of years, they are an active and very formative member of the San Francisco Balanced Breakfast group. The song of the vlog is a balanced breakfast band? I didn't see that coming. This vlog's song of the vlog Neon Street by the Y Axes. They are space pop from the future, literally from the future. The whole John T. Tour, like time travel thing, yeah, like that's, that's, that's them. They're fronted by this amazing person named Alexi, and she like sings her heart out and she dances, and Devin, their guitarist, is a monster. The guy can just shred in the most metal and 80s way possible, but he's like really tasteful about it, the way mixing it in with the pop music that they make. Neon Street is a really fun song. The chorus hook is so good. It just gets in there and will not leave. It's it's like a Paris, no, it's not, a, oh no, it's not, a, I'm sorry guys. It's okay when you call it an earworm though, but the music video for it is this wonderful throwback to like bad B movies. I think like a lot of people my age, I grew up with Mystery Science Theater 3000. I have a serious appreciation for terrible, terrible movies. It's almost like this tribute to Ed Wood. It's about teenage Republican vampires from outer space. Black and white romp through this San Francisco as these vampires are like playing tennis with a dead bat, campaigning for a, a vampire to be elected to office. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Check out the Y axis. Also want to give a massive shout out to Devin because at one of our last shows, Joyce, our lead guitarist, was in Europe. And Devin was able to jump in and learn an entire set relatively quick and play with us. And it was awesome. That man is a blast. 
far as the band goes, um, we just kind of caught back from a crazy weekend down at San Luis Obispo. I'm gonna do an entire episode on that one because that one is very fun and personal to me. That's right, uh, since last we spoke, Jess and I got some pretty rad moon tattoos. I'll get to that in another episode. But in the meantime, what I wanted to talk about is the fact that this weekend, we are playing one of the amazing Balanced Breakfast showcases. And why this one is so special is because this is Balanced Breck Fest. Like, festival. It, it's a festival. But what makes it so important is that it is an official Outside Lands after party at Neck of the Woods in San Francisco, brought to you by Heineken. We're playing an official Heineken-sponsored event. I don't even drink. Tickets are $10. That gets you a free beer anyway, which if you were going to drink, it's gonna cost you $5. So you basically get a $5 ticket plus a drink. For obvious reasons, it's 21 and up. And that kind of sucks because we like playing all ages shows. When a beer company is hosting your event and it's at a bar, you kind of can't really work around that at all. There are seven balanced breakfast bands on two different stages. The Y-Axes are playing, we're playing, Cave Clove is playing, Balanced Breck Fest. I did the hand thing, the hand thing. It's like the double rainbow of hands. And then check this out, at the same venue the night before, Red Bull after party for night one of Outside Lands is with Anna Gucci. I mean, granted they're only doing a DJ set, but Anna Gucci. So to recap, this episode was mainly about balanced breakfast and you should check out their website, check and see if there's a balanced breakfast community near you. The song of the vlog was Neon Street by San Francisco's The Y Axes because everyone needs teenage Republican vampires in their life. And as usual, you can check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. If you're in the Bay Area and you are over 21, you should definitely see us at the Outside Lands after party at Neck of the Woods in San Francisco on Saturday, August 8th. And lastly, just a reminder, the name the vlog thing is still happening. If you leave a YouTube comment with what you feel like this thing should be called, we will tally them all up. We're gonna throw a Facebook poll together of the top five that we like the most, and then we can all vote. And then everybody wins, except for the people that lose. But you know what? In this situation, nobody's a loser, except the word vlog. God, that word vlog, vlog. We hate it. We hate it, precious. I mean, it's not that. I, we could probably st we could we could probably keep calling it the vlog. No stupid fat crawl.